Hello, this is Justin from Tech Train here, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create an interactive clock that has a rotating hand. So this is an analog clock that can be used as a classroom timer. This particular one times for one minute. It's fully customizable. And as you see, the angle of the arrow centers around the center of the clock face rather than the center of the object. So I'm gonna show you how you can rotate a shape around a central point to create an analog clock face. So I'm going to start with a brand new blank presentation here, show you everything from step one. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is to insert an arrow, which will be the arrow of the clock face. And I'll just make that uh, a different color and a little bit thicker so we can see that more clearly. There we are. Now, if I add a spin animation to this, you'll see we'll have a problem. Let's go into animations and add an animation and choose spin from the emphasis section. Now watch what happens when we add this animation to the arrow. The arrow spins, but it spins around its center point, And that's not what we want. What we want is for the arrow to spin around this point, the end of the arrow. So how on earth can we do that? Because this is clearly not gonna work. What I'm gonna do is get rid of that animation and I'm going to add a second shape. If I go into insert shapes, and I come down to the flow chart section, there's a circle with crosshairs or a cross inside it, and that's what we want. Now we need this to be a perfect circle, and that's tricky if we're trying to do it freehand, but hold down the shift key and it will snap to a perfect circle, and that's what we want. So I'm gonna create this, it's gonna be, uh, well, the, the half the, uh, the the radius of the circle will need to be the same length roughly as the arrow. And of course that arrow will need to be in front of the clock face. So it's going to be something like that. Now, what we have to do is to place the arrow on this circle so that the end point, the point around which we want the rotation to happen, needs to be in the center of this circle. That's why this particular circle shape is good because it shows you exactly where the circle center is. So I'm gonna place the arrow over the circle center like that. There we are. So this now is the center point of the circle. If we were to add a rotation to the circle, then clearly this is the center point of that rotation. With the arrow on top of the circle, what we need to do is group both items together like that. Now, I don't actually need the circle to be visible, so I'm gonna click once on the group and then a second time on the circle part of that group, just so that I can change the format of that particular element. So I'm gonna choose no fill and no outline. So now we have what seems to be just the arrow by itself, but of course it is now part of a group. If I click on that group and go into animations and add my spin animation again, you'll see what happens is that the arrow is now rotating around its end point. Show you that again. So that now shows you it's, it's moving as a clock uh, hand should move. Of course, what it's doing is rotating around the center point of the circle, but we can't see the circle. So, you know, we don't know that. Now, of course, uh, you'll need to change how long it takes for the arrow to spin around, and this is totally customizable. If you want it to be a 30 second timer, that's fine. Minute, two minutes, 10 minutes, it's no problem at all. Uh, but what we're gonna do is change this so it takes one minute to go around the circle. So in the animation pane here, um, I'm gonna grab the end point of the animation like that, and drag it and you'll see that the duration is changing that's 10 seconds there and I just keep moving um, I think you can go almost up to an hour but we wouldn't want to do that uh, so let's get it so it's exactly one minute there we are that's exactly one minute zero seconds gonna let go there um, and there we are now if we were to play this you'll see that the arrow hand uh, the the uh, minute hand effectively is now rotating around the correct point the center of the circle and it's taking or it will take about a minute to do that perfect so what about if we wanted to uh, have that 
time two minutes or three minutes. How do we do that? Well, of course, you could go into the animation pane and you could grab the endpoint and keep on dragging until it takes uh, three minutes to complete one complete lap. That doesn't make a lot of sense, really, because, of course, um, that's not what we're used to. Uh, if we timed three minutes, the minute hand should go around three times and then stop. So how do we do that? Well, in the animation panel again, if we just double click the animation, uh, you can see we have the animation properties and you have two tabs here, the effect and the timing. And in the timing tab, we have repeat currently set to none. So it'll repeat, uh, it'll, it'll circle once and then that's it. If you want to uh, repeat it a number of times, then you can simply either choose an option from here or type that number in. So if we wanted it to time three minutes, then we type a three in here and then click OK. Now I'm not going to obviously demonstrate this, but effectively what will happen now is that it'll take one minute for the arrow to make one complete cycle, then it'll do it again and then a third time and then it'll stop. Now, if you want to set an alarm so that when it's done the three minutes, uh, it sets that alarm sound, then again, double click the animation, go into effect tab here and in the sounds tab or sounds section here, just simply choose the sound that you want. You can add your own sound by clicking other sound and then looking for a, a file that you have on your computer. Uh, then the only thing to do would be perhaps to add another circle, so we could add another circle, uh, which would be our clock face, or indeed go online and find a picture of a clock, uh, clock face, or uh, of course you could uh, quite easily um, draw one if you wanted to. Uh, but what I'm going to do is just uh, put a, a simple little clock face behind this, something like that. Uh, this needs to be uh, at the back, there we are, like that, um, something like that. And there we are, we would now have our clock face. I'm going to change the colour of the arrow again, make that uh, a black arrow, there we are. Um, and there we are, if we click the slide, that arrow starts to move and to rotate. Now, the other thing we can do is to have it set up so that when we want to start it, we click a button. You'll see I had that uh, in the example at the beginning. So what I'm going to do is to insert a shape, which I'll use as my start button. So I'm going to draw a rectangle up here, just add the text and begin in here. Um, and this will be my, uh, my button. So what I'm going to do now is make sure I know the name of this shape. Pretty obvious because it's the only rectangle I've used. But to find out the name of a shape, which will be important in a second, click on home and go to the select and selection pane option. So now we can see the names of all the options. So uh, arrow, for example, is straight arrow connector four. A uh, group is called group six. Uh, oval at the back is oval seven. And our start button, if we click on it, we can see is called rectangle eight. Now we know that we can go into the animation pane. There's our animation. Click on it once to select it. And we're gonna make two quick changes. The first one is to change it from start on click to start with previous and then change the trigger so it's on the click of that rectangle eight. So there we are, if I now play my presentation and I click on the begin, you can see the mouse turns into that little hand. I can click the begin and it will start timing. And this particular one now will time for three minutes and I haven't set a sound, but after three minutes, it could set that alarm. I hope you found this uh, video useful. If you have, please do give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and also the little uh, arrow, the sorry, little bell, so that you get notifications when a new video is uploaded. If you have any comments or any questions or suggestions, please do leave them below. I do read all comments and I try to reply to as many as I possibly can. Uh, but thank you again very much indeed for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.